Hello everyone, Alex here with New Era Crafting, and today we're bringing another Tech It tutorial. Yay! Uh, this tutorial today is going to be not just me, but me and my friend Matt here, MC1793B1, I think is his YouTube. Oh, he missed a zero. He missed a zero, but yeah, conformity. His link, channel, link to his channel will be in the description. And first off, I'd like to say thanks for this m rather amazing looking world that Matt made with a tool called Voxel Sniper, which we'll not get into now, but Matt will get into it in one, an episode on his channel. It's a brilliant little terraforming tool, and as you can see, it makes some servers, 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 okay. and it makes some rather epic-looking to some epic-looking worlds, as you can well see. So yeah, we may as well just jump straight into it. I'm going to start off by explaining some of the simpler pipes, and Matt here is going to explain some of the, some of the more technical stuff because he's a lot yeah. better at tech it than I am. So your most basic pipes are wood and cobblestone. Now, there's cobblestone and stone are two different pipes that do exactly the same thing. But it's also important to note that cobblestone and stone will not actually link up. So that's the first thing. And wooden pipes are extraction pipes. So I'm going to, instead of trying to explain this in a long, boring fashion, I'm going to just do a practical demonstration here. So as you can see, I've got my lovely diamonds in this chest. And they're going to be extracted by the wooden pipe, which needs to be powered by some kind of engine. I'm going to use redstone engines because they don't get hot quick and they're nice and simple to use chuck a redstone torch behind them that will start powering up and as you can see the wooden trans the wooden extraction tube next to the chest will start extracting diamonds from the chest and send them down the cobblestone transport tube cobblestone transport tubes can be used to transfer any kind of solid object so that, that's anything from dirt to diamonds so yeah use cobblestone not regular transport pipes for solid objects and now waterproof pipes we'll get into in another episode and another point, but yeah, that's just your basic two, two times, two kinds of pipes, and the cobblestone pipe linked up to the chest will go into back into the chest, and there's your diamonds. So that's about it for the basic two pipes. Now I'm gonna switch this off for now and hand over to my friend Matt, who's gonna explain some more different types of pipes. Hello. Well, um, you're gonna have an awful lot of fun with these. These are all the advanced sort of pipes. Um, You've got iron pipes, which are what I what I like to term as one-way pipes. So think of them as sort of like a one-way street where only things can go in one way, if you get what I mean. Then there's the gold pipe, which increases the speed of items that go through pipes. For if I remember rightly, it's 16 blocks. And they need to be powered by a redstone torch. They need to be powered by a redstone torch. Then there's the diamond sorting pipe. Here, it doesn't really make much sense, but that's because the two pipes connected, but we'll go into that once we get around the back of this. <laughs> then, I like, I like to call the obsidian pipes the vacuum ones. Um, they suck blocks towards it. I find them quite useful for stuff like reed farms and wheat farms and things like that, because they just suck everything in. And they can be powered by redstone as well. I think it increases their range by about four blocks in front. So, here, <laughs> do you want to go around the back first, Alex? Yeah, I'll take you around the back. This may look a bit confusing to everyone at first, but once you start learning the pipes, this will make a lot more sense. A so lot more sense. <laughs> here, we've just got uh, some redstone engines. Torches. Connect <laughs> yeah, connected to the wooden extraction pipe that Alex showed you. Alright, there you are. Yeah, as you can uh, see powered gold pipes to just speed everything up so we don't have to sit here waiting for five years for everything to get through. Uh, the one-way pipes which can be changed using a wrench but I don't know if you want to go into that do you Alex? Uh, well, as you can see I won't go into wrenches but as you can see the the solid so, the solid edges are where, oh. are where stuff cannot go. Stuff can go through it but not back through it. So they can only come out the clear side. They can side. only come out the clear side, yeah. That's a basic basically what they do. It's uh, pretty it's a pretty neat little tube you can use. It's obviously we've seen that one already. Everything comes around here. And this is you've got your track this is your the sorting. diamond pipe. Yeah, the sorting one. Through. Uh these iron pipes are here just to make sure that everything doesn't Everything goes in the right direction. <laughs> again. And just clogs everything up because when we was building it we was having a few problems with that, wasn't we? Yeah. Do you want to explain this uh, this sorting pipe a bit first? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, now, when you click on it, there's different yep. bars. You can filter nine different objects. 
Well, you can, yeah, you can filter nine different objects through at once. Mm -hmm. So you could filter stuff like dirt and stone through, and all your walls and wood and torches and things like that. Um, I know that if you do have problems where you have several things where you want them to go towards one area, but you don't have enough slots, you can have a second pipe come off and filter it further if you want. Yeah, so basically, the, for instance, the blue side here is that I'm pointing at. As you can see, I've got you've got wood in blue, so the wood will come out of the blue side and go down there and through there. It just gets sped up again, just yeah. to make it. Okay. So that's that's basically it, really, for the sorting pipes. Um, and should we go do the obsidian pipes now? Uh, yes, that's the point. I need to explain that. That would be quite a good one to explain. Uh, now, this isn't really very useful on this, but this I've just put here just to demonstrate as a use for it. So if you do ever have anything from a mining trip, say, and you don't want to put it in the chest, you can just throw it in. Like that. <laughs> that just chuck it in. Fill up and take it through. I'm just going to get rid of that. Just mash Q and you can chuck all the diamonds you want in there. I'm just going to get rid of that pipe, otherwise it's going to completely screw everything up. And as you can see, did they just go back in? <laughs> no, no, I just picked them up. But oh, fair enough. Everything's being fired out <laughs> by the gold pipe. Yep. But yeah, that. your stuff will travel down the pipes as usual. And that's uh, obviously right, quite good. Yeah. Now, in this yeah. chest, I've just got a stack of 64 gold ore and stone. And then the same again in here, as we wooden dirt. Okay, so do you want to switch it on, and then uh, I'll explain what happens as everything as everything goes. It is on. Okay, so you may need you may need to actually like open the chest to show them that. Yep. Yeah. So as you can see, wood just came out of that one. It's already gone too fast for my eyes. I've lost it. The where did the wood go? Oh uh, god! Yeah. All right. Yeah. As you can see, the wood's going now down there because it's been sorted by the diamond pipe, and into this chest and there you go so if you miss that the wood comes out of this chest gets extracted by the wooden tube powered by red powered by redstone engine down the gold pipe to make it go faster through the iron pipe to make it go that way through the not diamond pipe iron pipe sorry through the iron pipe to make it go that way and then into the diamond pipe to, to sort it to go through the blue way so it goes through the blue one sped up again and into the chest and it's exactly the same for all of them they just get sped up make sure they go the right way and sort it in the diamond thing and yeah, a, la a last one here I've just I've just uh, sorted it out because it was pumping out the wood and stuff first. dear idea oh Matt <laughs> but yeah our last one here the gold for for the ores for the gold ore we've done something a bit different here I'm gonna switch this on first uh, have you got the gold ore uh, being extracted it's, yeah. it's coming through now yeah, yeah. there you go the gold ore is obviously all sorted and you can have a furnace on the end of this so it goes straight into the furnace cooks up and with your extraction extraction pipe, pipe, the wooden pipe you can then obviously extract them and then they'll just head straight into the chest through this powered thing powered something, important, something important to note about uh, using furnaces like this the thing you want to go in the top you have to make the pipe go into the top and so, if you want to say something so like all, your wood. ore goes in the top, and what comes out comes out the side. Or and say if you want something like coal or whatever to go in the bottom, you put the pipe up at the bottom. Yep. So it yeah, that's puts it in. But I haven't set that up on this. Okay, so, so I think that's it for for basic pipes, and I think that's it for the pipes, really, isn't it? I think um, uh, we'll, we'll be pipes. Yes. We'll be explaining waterproof pipes in another episode. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you found this as informative. As uh, as I have found it, well, not I, not this particular video, but inform as informative as other videos. So leave a comment, subscribe, go subscribe to Matt's channel. That's a very good thing to do. I'll be, got some, yeah, I'll be making some more of my own tutorials. He has video. he has some tutorial videos up. So thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye. Yo, how with my heart repping since I was a baby? But lately, I got the whole world in front of me. So much to say and do.